So over here you can see that I have an object in my Blender workspace and now what we're going to do is we're going to look at the parenting feature. So to do that first of all I'm going to just move the object over here on the top and then I'm going to press Shift A to go around and create let's say a UV spear mess right here. I'm just going to press Shift A again and then I'm going to go around create another UV spear right here. Press Shift A again and then I'm going to go around and let's say this time I'm going to make a cylinder right here. So you can see that there's this and then I'm going to go around make another cylinder. I'm just going to press Control that is Shift D right here to actually duplicate it and place it right here. So I can go around and place the object wherever I want just like this. So now you can see that I have five objects and what I want to do now is make these child to this one. So first of all, I'm going to make two of these spears child to this object right here. And to do that, first of all, I need to select the spear that I want to make the child uh, and then shift select the object you want to make the parent of. So I'm just going to shift select this uh, cube right here and you can see that this is a darker red and this is orange. So now what I can do to make it uh, the parent of this object is press control P. So once I press control P, you can see that I can set the object as parent to uh, this cube right here. So press control P right here and I'm going to select object. So once I do that, now what happens is that you see this little, little line over here. So you can go around and then if you were to move this, you can see that it actually moves the spear as well. But if I were to move the spear, this is a tile, so it does not move uh, the cube along but yeah the cube actually moves along with this so i'm going to do the same for this one as well so i'm just going to select this press shift and hold this object press ctrl p and then i'm going to set parent to object just like this so now you can see that if i were to move this both of them are child so now i'm going to go around and do the same with this one so i can make this object uh, child of this object directly but in my case I'm just going to make it a child of this object so I'm just going to select this and select this object and I'm going to press ctrl p and then object for this one however I'm going to select this object as parent press ctrl p and object now let's see what happens so if I were to move this out only this object moves but if I were to move this object you can see that both of them moves at the same time if I were to move this however it is linked to all of the four other objects and they move all together just like this. And you see this little line as a guide of who is the child of what, just like that. If you want to remove out parenting, instead of Control P, you press Alt P on your keyboard and you can see that you have clear parent as an option. But once I clear the parent, you can see that the object moves a bit and sometimes we do not want that. So if you want to clear the parent but you want the object to stay where uh, where it is, you, you can just press Alt P and then over here there's an option called clear and keep uh, transformation just like this. So you can do the same for this one as well. But over here you can see that the parent has been released for this one. And you can see the details of the hierarchy over here. So if I were to click over here and expand this, you can see that it is parent to both the spears over here. But if I were to go over here, it's not the parent to the cylinder anymore but if I were to go ahead and then select this and press ctrl p and then click on object you can see that the cylinder moves inside of this cube right here so now this is the parent I'm just going to go around over here so select this and ctrl p and object and what happens is that you can see that if I were to move this along now all of them has become the parent just like that so I can release or I can make it a child of the object just like this to link it with another item. So this is especially helpful when you're making cars and you want child um, child as your tire so that whenever you move the car body, the tire moves along uh, with it and so forth. And that is how you can parent and clear parent inside of Blender. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.